Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and More! Surviving the aftermath in the town somewhere. Where are we? I don't know. It's our motto. Where are we? Hold up! Hey everybody, it's Promise from the future. So I did name some characters after patrons in between videos, but I totally forgot to mention it in this video, so I'll just say right now. Klaz, Shadow Trip 32 and Talik Verda, congratulations, you get to die in my horrible post-apocalyptic world. Have fun! Anyway, uh, so yeah, if you didn't see the last video, we had to do a restart because of a new patch with Expeditions, which changed things and ruined my old save game file, but we seem to be recovering just fine. We do have a nuclear fallout on the way, so the faster we can harvest some of this corn, probably the better. In the meantime, we are clearing out a lot of the nuclear uh, material, the fallout, the waste, Clearing up a lot of extra farmland, so theoretically we could start producing enough food to support much, much larger populations than we currently have. However, it's not totally up to me, unfortunately, because I kind of need the events. So, yeah, until more people come up here to see our glorious green flag with the possum on it, uh, there's just nothing we can do. Now... I did do a little bit looking through the patch notes, trying to figure out what was going on with the cars that we found last time, and I was correct, you do need to repair it. So what we did is we found a broken car with uh, only half the action points able to drive home and drop off in the village. But until we build a garage and repair the car, we're not going to be able to do much of anything with it. So yeah, that is in fact what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to send you to go ahead and start gathering up tools, why not? Tools are valuable, I'm sure. Uh, let's go ahead and start beating some people up. You should be able to beat this guy, no problem. Well done, Sk. He didn't even take any damage. Now we just need to take the lumber. What happened to the lumber? There it is. It's 38. Am I just misreading some of these things? Is there actually materials being left behind and I'm ignoring it? No. No, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, so you took a little damage last time. You should be able to finish off this bandit. Uh, bandit. Sorry. Or bound it. I don't know. Bound and rebound. Boom, ba boom, boom. You still didn't kill the guy. Dude. Hakeem. What is wrong with you, man? It's okay, I sort of kind of forgive you. Still need to find science, though. There's just so much that I want to do. So if we go here to the tech tree, we can see the exploration which leads to the garage. So, good for repairing and storing cars. Vehicles found on the world map must first be brought to a garage for repairs before they can be utilized by specialists. So there's that. They also need oil and other materials to repair. Bartering is what we want for the trade center. Disaster forecast is great if you want to find out what horrible things are on the way, but, you know, I don't know. I mean, I feel like two days to respond to most disasters is okay, at least in the early game. Uh, maybe having an extra couple of days in the late game is really important. I don't know yet. Let's see. Centralized repairs, a maintenance depot. Fixes damaged buildings within its work radius. I don't feel like that's too helpful. Medical center could be okay. A frontier outpost isn't the worst thing. So this is, this is something that was reduced in, uh, I think, version 2 of the game, or update 2. So let's take a look at this. Unlocks the outpost depots used for establishing and maintaining outposts on the world map. Expanding your colony's influence past its borders is essential for the colony's survival. Outposts allow specialists to drop off their scavenged resources without traveling back to the colony. And after dropping off the resources, they are automatically transferred to the colony. One outpost depot can support a single outpost. I'll be honest, this seems pretty good. It seems pretty important. It's just a question of, will I be able to get everything else that I want? I don't need a memorial. That doesn't seem important. And comfortable housing? Eh, they can afford to live in squalor for a bit longer. Knowledge preservation, happiness, fun boxes, aggression release, an arena. I mean, this is just good if you want to build up happiness, but we haven't really had a lot of problems with happiness at this point in the game. Production. I definitely want to have the energy storage. There's the biofuel refinery right there, by the way. Junk recycling, more energy production, industrial mining. Here's the super good extractors. Alternative proteins requires energy, but insect farms provide meat, basically, protein. <sighs> Boring methods. Water towers, larger wells. You know, I kind of wonder if you could use that in the future to actually gather up oil. Like actual oil, not sunflower seed oil. Maybe? Delicacies, mess hall... Yeah, there's a lot of things we need. I, I don't know if I want the outposts. Maybe? I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. In the sense that it keeps my scavengers out and about longer. So maybe. Ah, oh boy, I don't know. Um, I'm a little bit worried about our nuclear fallout. 
I really want to assign some people to make sure that we harvest this stuff quick. I do not want to risk losing a lot of food. Uh, planks up here getting depleted. That's fine. What else do we get with the stockpile? Move over here. This was green earlier, and now it's not. I'm not sure what's going on. Someone's been stealing planks to clobber people over the head, probably. Someone seems been stealing the planks from the storage. You order a few colonists to investigate, and to your surprise, they return with a group of rowdy children, one under each arm. Apparently, the kids use the planks to build themselves a tree fort in the nearby forest. <sighs> if I leave it alone, we'll probably get some happiness, so I guess I'll do it. We don't need the planks. Yeah, there we go. The kids are going to have their fun. Who's going to miss a few planks anyway? The children are practically beaming with joy, little thieves, after hearing that their precious fort will be saved. Honestly, even if I don't need the planks, this is where I'd be a terrible parent, but even if I don't need the planks, just to teach them a lesson for stealing, i go tear down their tree fort out of spite. I really would. They thank you profusely. The next day you find a crude yet immensely colorful thank you card tucked under your doorstep, decorated with whatever might pass for finger paint. That is to say, mud and urine. It's gross, I'm sorry. It just That was the only thing I could think of. I tried to make it funny. I don't think it was particularly funny, but, you know, there you go. Please give me more people! <laughs> I'm struggling so much with the fact that I just can't get any dang colonists. Alright, you should be able to finish this guy off now, right? No damage taken? There we go, he's finally gone. Oh, goody. Okay, so the tools are free. Or at least available. Uh, we can go and gather up this stuff. And I guess I'll have you go gather up the planks. And Sable can go and gather up tools. Eventually. <sighs> but we need to explore new regions. Like, that's the thing. Like, Platy needs to stop scavenging and do nothing but explore. Honestly, kind of the same with Hakeem. And we'll follow up with cars and stuff later once I actually have the research. Like, the materials exist back home. And that's the cool thing about research. You don't have to transfer it back home. So once we find it, we'll unlock everything we need. Yeah, that is what we need to do. Uh, so they're still harvesting, doing good. I'm not going to worry about uh, planting. So as soon as the stuff is done harvesting, and this should be the last batch, I'm going to remove the people. There we go. Remove all of them, because these farms are about to be useless. Let's just have a bunch of carriers sitting around. So we can quickly gather up the food. Um, we have no protected crops left. What defines a protected crop? I guess that's... Oh, how much food do we have, in theory, currently growing and available? I'm guessing. So we got 98 more food that we... Uh, corn, sorry, that we need to turn into vegetable meals. I could try to select a recipe that has um, a mixed meal. If I went for, let's say, the insect meals, that would work. Insect meals are unusual stew made from every type of available insect. You know, some people think that in the future, we're going to be eating lots of bugs. Because climate change is going to make it impossible for us to have cows. We'll probably purge cows from existence. Or something, I don't know. And we're going to eat lots and lots of buggos. God, I hope not. Because I have zero interest in eating some oversized grubs and cockroaches. I'm sorry. I don't care. I, it's just, it's gross. It is. You can't convince me otherwise. It's just disgusting. Platy. There is... You already, actually already gathered up all of the um, the lumber. You gathered 38. That's pretty good. All right. Go explore, Platy. You are our only hope, little Platy Puss Lady. Former Queen of Sweden. Long may ye reign. All right. We got tools. We can gather up 15 more of those. So a couple more trips and we'll be done there. I might use Sable to go ahead and attack some bandits. I'm not sure. Maybe. Now, I thought the whole general storage thing was supposed to prevent people from stealing things. But it sure as heck didn't seem to stop them children's, did it? No. Ah, here's the nuclear fallout. We should probably go ahead and assign a couple of people to doctoring, since we know that people are going to be getting radiation sickness. Then we have plenty of iodine pills, so I can't imagine that's going to be too difficult. Well, while we just sit around and enjoy the green tint in the world, I'm just going to sit here and drink my blueberry-flavored seltzer. Ah, it's good. Oh, no, more people are radiated. It's good stuff. Colonists found something. What'd you find? Abandoned property. Uh, okay, one of the colonists rushes towards you. He said he found an abandoned wa wagon. It's covered with a tarp, so I couldn't tell what's inside. There are footprints around it, but no one can tell where it leads. I'm going to arm them with planks. They find components and coats. Honestly, that's a fine trade for a couple of planks. It's not like it's too hard for me to get planks. All right, gather up some more tools. Platy, I need you to go and explore. Ah, still not enough action points. We should have grabbed the meds of the hospital. Ah, well. 
What did you know? Uh, one more trip here after this should be enough, and then we'll probably have Hakeem start heading out and exploring since he's a scientist. Technically, we want him to be the one who finds the research stuff anyway. But I'll take whatever I can freaking get. How much junk do we have? 76. That's a lot. Um, we probably will be able to turn that into parts and components later. Sitting on a reasonable amount of concrete. We're going to need a heck of a lot more, though. Yeah, this place is empty. What else can we get? There's a giant concrete outpost over here. It's a long ways away, but if you have nothing else to do, I'm going to have them go over there. More colonists irradiated. You know, we're reaching a point where having another medical tent might be wise. So let's go ahead and place one over here. And, of course, we will extend some roads. Something kind of like that should be fine. There we go. Okay, looking all right to me. Yeah, just having a few more doctors for events like this. I mean, in theory, it's not going to matter. We should be able to treat people pretty well. It's acting as if there's still occupants, but I don't think there actually are. So go ahead and pull both of these people off for now. But yeah, for exactly these situations, once in a while, you're going to wish you had at least a couple of tents. Oh, never mind. More people got irradiated. Okay, let's go ahead and move them over there. Uh, more deposits depleted. Oh, good. We're getting rid of more of that nuclear waste. A giant patch is Gonsk. Hooray! I mean, I think it's funny that these people can just go around to nuclear waste and gather materials. They are clearly not wearing hazmat suits. They're just gathering up the stuff, and they're like, we don't feel radiation at all. We're fine. But a little radiation and toxic rain falls, and they're all like, oh, I'm dying. I'm just saying, you little, you little weenies. All right, so we got that tools done. Platy, let's go over here. Let's do a little exploration. What do you find? Ah, some dangerous bandits. Okay. Gather up the last tools just so I can say that this is done, which it is. If I sent you to go and fight bandits, you'd win. So we should. What are the bandits guarding? Uh, fibers. Not plastic, just fiber. I don't really care about fiber, if I'm honest. Like, there's not a lot I need. I guess it's okay to grab tools and coats. Those are high-value things. So are medicines. Okay, fine. But really, gathering up the resources is not what's important to me right now. I'm doing fine on all fronts. I'm really okay. Would you guys go, please, and hang out in your tenements instead of hanging outside? Do you see the poisonous green death fog everywhere? Look, I'm just saying. You shouldn't be standing out there. Let's go ahead and assign a couple more doctors. We got a lot of people who are irradiated, apparently. That guy's glowing green. I mean, something, someone should probably do something about that. All right, fine. You guys are idling now. We only have two. Whatever. All right. Colonist Isabella is irradiated. Oh, she's she's asleep. That's why. Okay. Well, whatever. I don't really care. I don't really care. Please just freaking... Ugh. Oh, this guy was wandering so far out. All right, Platy. Let's go find out what's over here. Science! Dang it. They never get lucky. Never find the sciences. Uh, we cannot... I don't think we can reach there. One, two, three, four, five... Oh, we can reach here. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's explore this area. What'd you find? More bandits. Guarding, not science. Dang it. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna have you go beat up some bandits. Let's just kill them. I mean, I may not want to stick around, but we're on the way. We might as well just beat them up. Colonist Yakub has been infected. All right, let's go ahead and assign more doctors. It's not like there's a whole lot to do right now anyway. We can't do farming. We can't do most of our geobs. I guess while we're sitting around and not doing much else, we can gather up some extra plastic and metal. But we're going to be running out of storage space at some point. And apparently, general storage isn't actually very general because we don't get to actually store up basic building materials in here. By the way, are we almost out of firewood? No, we got 18 left. Ah, no, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Who's worried about it? I don't know why everyone refuses to go to this tent. These people are perfectly qualified, you know. But they won't do it. All right, let's go ahead and assign some farmers. Go ahead and start planting up the new seeds. Uh, I'm going to have... I'm also going to stop working on this for a little bit. Let's go ahead and gather up a little more firewood just to make sure I don't risk running out. You guys should be fine down over there. Still got a couple of carriers. That should get improved once these guys are finished treating. And get people off of the farms. Got somebody who's just standing here being irradiated and gross. I, I really wish you'd just go and seek medical treatment, sir. Or a woman. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's go ahead and just build up another tenement. 
I don't need it right now, but I'm bored and I want to do it. Uh, you, Sable, walk down here and then beat him up. Punch, punch. You didn't kill him. Ah, I predicted that there was a good chance of killing him, but he didn't die. Uh, you can't reach there. We could reach up here, maybe. Nope, not enough points. Never mind. Uh, you cannot reach there, but you can reach here. Let's go explore this area. Okay, we found Old Forum with some more bandits guarding medicine. These guys are requesting potatoes, firewood, and fuel. They would offer... Why is there a flower next to the fibers? I don't know. Canned food, concrete, components, and so on. All of that's fine. Uh, they did add in another crop, by the way. Flax, which you can use for... Um... Ooh, we should trade with these guys. What you can use for um, 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 fibers. Flax turns into fiber. It makes sense. So wait, trade menu. Do you need a trade center to be able to do any basic trade? Because I would love to trade. Trade! Okay, so what I want is your science. We haven't done trading before. These guys, it looks like, would be willing to give me... Sunflower seeds for the price of 400 reputation. I wish it told you outright how much your reputation is growing, if at all. So this is the seed for flax. Ah, okay. So that's what that symbol means. Where's the science? Am I blind? Peanut seeds? You think those would be pretty good? Huh. Are you sure you want to initiate trade? Active trade routes is zero out of zero. So I still don't think we can do anything until I actually do get myself a trade center. Still! Get to know that those things exist. So we've run out of things to work on over here. Um, let's go ahead and clear out this pile, I guess. Since it's nearby, but we actually can probably pull people off of the environmental station. For the most part, just one is fine. We've used up a lot of iodine pills. Like, a lot. Which makes sense. We had nuclear fallout. Can't get mad about that, but even so. Oh, good. We finished the extra tenement. Now you guys get a little bit of extra elbow room. I hope you're happy with that. Freaking science. Um... I'm gonna sign a forester over here for a little bit, just to make sure that we can maintain this area a little bit here. Not that I think it matters too much. Um, you go explore here. Science, 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 science. Dang it! Okay. You explore here. Found extremely dangerous tools. They're explosives, apparently. Let's go ahead and beat up the rest of the bandits. Let's just finish them off. I'll have to send her back home to heal at some point. Question. Outposts. Can our scavengers, or our specialists, sit in an outpost and heal? Is that a thing that they are able to do? Because that actually makes them very valuable. Survivors, thank god! Two adults, with some meat, tools, and medicine, and Lovelace, a scientist. Oh good, another one. Where's all my combat guys? Few people are as hardy as her. Nothing seems to faze her. Not hunger, illness, or even catastrophes. They're all just minor inconveniences, pests rude enough to mess with her schedule. This helps her endure through even the most frustratingly complex research and the crude instruments at hand. I accept. They're just adults anyway. We can handle these guys, absolutely. Um, we already have two doctors that I left idling here, so one person infected. We can treat that pretty quick. We have another specialist. We're going to send you down this away. And just explore in literally the four opposite corners anywhere I can for science. I can't get trade centers without science. I can't get schools without science. I can't get new food without science. I can't repair my cars without science. I, I just, everything is bottlenecked on this. I, I don't know if you guys sense my frustration on that point. I need more ways of getting science. I wonder if that's something that the uh, devs uh, overlooked slightly. Probably not. But, like, when they reduce the number of action points for your specialists on the world map because of the introduction of vehicles, uh, that just means less potential of getting that science, and it slows down your tech a lot. Like, really, what am I going to build? 
We don't need to be doing much of anything else right now. We're completely self-sufficient in our current state. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you, you keep me heading down here, please. Um, you explore over here. Is that a helicopter? It is. Parts in the ordnance works. Platy. Let's explore over here. Science! Thank God! It's dangerous, but I'm willing to take that risk. Some of you may die, but that is a risk I am willing to make. Alright, we have a car. Um, this one's green. I wonder if that means that it's actually fully functional and not needing work. I don't know. Lots of concrete over here. More bandits that we can beat up. Yeah, I guess we probably should bring that car back. But most importantly, we found the science. So over time, we'll grab some more. Okay. Okay. Things are looking up again. Things are looking promising. How are we doing on water storage? A-okay. How are we doing on the environmental station? A-okay. How are we doing on our crops? Pretty good. I bet you thought I was going to say A-okay again. You wish. We've been building this colony for a month, but I think we've done pretty good. The only thing we're really missing is parts. But that's a, kind of a late game material. It's not really something we need exactly. Let me go ahead and just gather up some extra meats. Apparently you get fibers also from trappers. I'm guessing that's from hides. Um, we don't need clothes and we don't need tools. I guess we can continue using the sawmill and just go ahead and chop things up. Alright, specialists, Platy, go and grab. The scientists are all too far away. So it's all relying on you. Look at that. We got 400 more science. There's another 189 to go. Thank you. All right. Hakeem. Find something. You found something, but not what I wanted. Antibiotics. There's lots of medicine on this map. Okay. We found some dangerous ones. The Ripper's Lair. Ooh, they're Rippers. That sounds so scary. Okay. So now that we have some science, what should we research? Well... I don't necessarily need to do protected crops. This is good in the sense that greenhouses are good against nuclear fallout, but they're very vulnerable to, uh, you know, meteors from above. Alternative proteins is okay, but not absolutely required. Energy storage would be good, so we can just go ahead and build the energy rack, and I'll, I'll go ahead and research that. Junk recycling gets parts, but we don't need parts yet. Education, I wouldn't mind getting a school, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we haven't got enough science for anything else, but I think everything else is going to go to Frontier Outposts and Bartering. Okay, so if I want to get some more power with a battery, we need more components. It does not appear to require any maintenance, which is good. Um, I can build you up over here, I guess. Sure, it's not taking up a lot of valuable space, not a lot of fertile land. We'll have a giant battery pack sitting over here. A bandit is act at the gate and he's acting odd. A man approaches the gate with a hefty backpack, bursting at the seams with blueprints, measuring sticks, and other items. He has all the usual bandit trappings, but is acting in very unbandit-like behavior. Oi, oi, might I address whoever's in charge? A master builder is here, and you better listen. He's building a monument of sorts and needs construction materials. So how's about we trade, eh? So, parts? This looks like lettuce? Do you have anything more exciting than this? Do I look like a dealer of flesh? You know, I could have still done anything. I was just asking the question. I could have still done any of those other trades. I didn't need any of it, but I could have done it. I wasn't saying no. I was just asking if there's anything else that you need to stock. Ugh, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. I didn't like the look of this guy anyway. I think he was going to betray me or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Four specialists currently. Mm, yeah, I'm really hoping the next one we get is combat base because I would like to take out this stronger, um, the much, much stronger bandit camps and unlock their rare resources if possible. All right, Platy. Let's go ahead and gather up the last little bit. Don't blow up. You didn't blow up. Congratulations. He's so proud. Uh, we still need one more science bay somewhere. So let's just keep exploring and looking for it. Any research here? Oh, you're out of action points. Never mind. Uh, you go here. We find more bandits gather, uh, guarding fun supplies, but not science. All right, if we go to the tech tree, then we can go ahead and research that uh, frontier outpost. So I need a little bit more, like 45, and we can get bartering. Um, and then we can go for exploration. I want to grab at least both of these. Then I think we probably start working toward things like... Um, 
alternative proteins and other such things. At least until we find out what else we need. Can I get a school? Schools apparently count as medical. I guess health and safety. Alright, it's an amenity. So schools are good because children actually have something to do. And they become educated. I could put them right next to the environmental station. That feels like a bad decision. Um, but it'd be funny. Let's see. If I were to place you up over here, we kind of mess up some neighborhood potential. Let me uh, do a quick check. Every time, by the way, I hit F11, I'm taking a picture. So, whoops, all those extra screenshots, man. Um, we could build the school, like, right in the neighborhood areas. Not particularly thrilled about that. This is all fertile. I guess we'll place it up over here, then. We left room for a road, right? Yes. Okay, so right here we'll have to do. Let's just go ahead and build up that school. It's something I promised in an event anyway. You didn't see it, because I was, you know, playing through the game trying to rebuild things. But even so. Alright, so work effectiveness will go up. You can only have, uh, I think, ten children at a time, but that's no big deal. Power shortage, I don't see why. Oh, wait, schools require power? No, what requires power? What's the problem? Oh, I see. It says I'm not producing anymore. But this is why we have a battery pack. So we're fine. We'll use up a lot of it. But we're getting there. Um, then we should just go ahead and build a fourth solar panel. This, these two in conjunction with the battery pack should be enough to keep this going throughout most of the day. Not that we need it. I'm not particularly worried about the nuclear waste right now. It's just a thing we could do. How's our storage? Haven't even used up one slot yet, so I think we're fine. Specialists. Alright, find me science. Science! Hey, and she's a scientist tool, which is even better. Alright, let's explore over here. Found some, uh, I think these are fun boxes, so that's fun. Platy, uh, why don't you go over here? We find something, okay, plain, components. You can explore up over here. We're getting a little bit far from home, I know, but... I mean, there's still so many more supplies to find. Alright, so we have a source of science. How much does it have? 428, beautiful. Also, another car. So once we finish the science, we can just send her back home. With another car. I'm gonna need a whole bunch of garages. That's fine, though. We'll worry about that once I actually have the dang science. Alright, so the solar panel will be finishing up pretty soon. You're generating an excess of 12. So we're doing pretty good there. Should be producing 32 now. Alright, so now we're gonna be getting a lot. Now we're getting a lot of power. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So these farms are growing pretty nicely. Looking fine on food. Uh, doing fine on water storage. Don't need to be producing any more right now. I guess we do have to have somebody working in the school. And this is one thing that kind of sucks. Is uh, in order to educate those children, you have to have somebody permanently working in the school. So you basically just give up one of your adults for children for the rest of the game. Small group of people are at the gate. Oh, our last hope. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. Their clothes are torn and dirty with traces of dried blood. One of them pleads, Our caravan was torn to shreds by effing bandits and we got no place to go. Can you please help us? We'll give up every little bit we have for some medicine or shelter. Welcome them in and alert the medic. Done deal. Alright, so we get some food, we get fall and colonists, we get clo uh, coats. Thank you, thank you, they're injured. Let's send them directly to the medics. Looks like three people are sick and wounded. I mean, honestly, fine. And we didn't even get any children out of that arrangement, so it's even better. Butimus. Uh, more metal. Where can we find more metal? Way over there. Yikes. The further away it gets, the harder it's going to be for me to get these resources, and we're going to have to work toward those extractors. But okay. Specialists, ready for action. Alright, it's a little bit dangerous. A 33% chance of pain. But that's fine. You did it. Good job. Oh, she blew up. She blew up. You mix the chemicals. You're the scientist. You're supposed to know not to mix those things. Okay? Whatever. Hey, fuel. That's actually very useful to me right now. Because we're looking at getting some dang cars. We got a couple more of them. Uh, do I care about components? Well, you're not going to reach anything anyway, so we might as well walk over here. Walk this way. Thank you. And then use up an action point gathering a little bit. And you blew up. Okay. Well, you also mixed something. I'm not sure what, but you did. Let's explore over here next. We find very dangerous tools. Explosive storage. Sounds like fun. Let's go to exploration and work on bartering. 
and then exploration. Okay, so we still have 100 science left, but I can't afford anything with that currently. Still, that's pretty good. So, if we want to go to the um, exploration tab here, we have the outpost depot, trade centers, and garages. So, if I want to build some outposts, this is an option. One trade center can handle one trade convoy at a time. So, I definitely think that we want to be building a few of these. Question is where best to put them. Probably where we don't have fertile land. We can just tuck them off in the corner, like over here. Yeah. Let's build one over there. Then we also have the garage. Repairs and stores vehicles. It requires a specialist to do the repairs, but that's fine, because once they bring a car back, they can just sit there and do the repairs. So I would love to get a garage. Um, can I fit it anywhere? Eh, not without getting in the way of where I hope to place more tenements in the future. Um, over here is a terrible spot. Let's see. If I place you... This is actually pretty good. Yeah, it fits almost perfectly right there. Done. Okay. Place down the roads. Like so. You place down roads along to the school. You guys probably can place some roads down this way. There we go. Okay, just make sure that everyone's able to walk around as effectively as possible. Uh, you're already treating these people, but I guess both our doctors decided to go to bed, which means this person is just going to be ill forever, so that's fun. Let's pull off our doctors. Don't need them there anymore. Uh, move you over here. Keep gathering up wood. We may want to place down another forester at some point just to get another source of reliable trees. I'm not too sure. All right, this person's been treated. I guess, I guess there's one more. Trade center is done. Okay, we can pull you guys off now. So, with the trade center done, uh, we have to have somebody manning it? Is that true? Can I set up trade routes without having somebody working it all the time? No. Do I need to have someone working then? Yes. Ah, okay. So that uses up some more people. But it's a thing we can do. So, Trinity... So, Favor, in order to... I lack the resources to complete this Favor... So this is me giving things up in order to gain reputation. So that's kind of that's kind of like money. And then I can spend that reputation to gain things like bread. So I would need 400 uh, reputation if I want to learn how to get sunflowers up and running. Which does sound pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Peanuts is not a bad idea. That would all be fine. I'm not going to give up any fuel. So, trading away potatoes would be a very good way of getting a lot of reputation with the old forum. Which I think sounds very good to me. Um, I would like to do this. Now, is this only one time? I don't know, but it gets me 216 favor. That's pretty decent. If I wanted to trade with Greentown, we could give up some metal, we could give up some scrap. But that turns into parts, so I don't think that's a good idea. All right, for now, I think this is something I can comfortably do. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, now, is this a permanent thing? And it keeps happening again and again until I cancel it, or is it a one-time deal? That's something I do not know. So these fields are going to be finished growing pretty soon. We may want to swap over to some potatoes, just so we'll have more trading goods sitting around. This is where having some diversity of resources is good. All right, we need to end this video, but there we go. We're finally getting to experiment a little bit with trading. I'm excited about that. I like that a lot. We'll see what happens in the future. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.